Hi, I'm Katrina, your Pilates teacher at K and Pilates. Welcome to Get Started with Pilates, your 31 day journey towards a daily Pilates practice. Today is day 18, so let's begin. Today we will start in all fours, so give the wrist a quick twirl and maybe up and down as well. We'll start in our cat stretch again, so find your um, neutral here, hands on the shoulders, knees and the hips, breathe in to prepare. Breathe out to curl in. Breathe in to arch away, shoulders away from the ears and round. Let's do two more of those. Breathe out. And in. And then find your neutral spine and pelvis. Push up in between the shoulder blades. We'll go into our swimming variation. So if you are on a mat, you just want to make sure that you can fully extend the leg without um, sliding off the mat because then that edge would just get into the way. So we'll start with the swimming variation we did last time. Opposite arm to leg, staying in contact with the floor just to start with and then we take it up a notch. Yeah. So you breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, slide the fingertips and the toe along the floor and then come back. Draw the navel up a bit, so you need to breathe into your ribcage. Remember your ribcage breathing. I hope that is getting a little bit more familiar by now. If not, that's fine as well, but maybe after a few weeks, we're getting there. So here we try to keep the spine, the pelvis as still as possible. Breathe out. And in. Draw the navel up. Push up in between the shoulder blades. The last two. Keep the neck supported. Last one of these, and then again, just maybe give the wrist a tool. So you can continue with those if you want to, or you can come um, into the progression. We're just going to go into a tiny, tiny lift. So find that neutral spine and pelvis again, and then breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, slide away. Then breathe in to lift. Out to lower. In to slide back. Tiny lift, don't go too high. And especially don't let the back out. Yeah, so keep that pelvis in neutral as much as possible. There'll always be a little bit of a domino effect, but we try to keep that as tiny as possible. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out. And in, and out, and in. Really stretch the arm away, stretch the leg away. Here again, just making sure not to bend the knee. Good, last few. One more. Good. Then come into child's pose. Yeah, feet together, knees together, all slightly apart. And relax into that, relaxing the abs and the shoulders. One more breath. And then just walk the hands back. Good. So we'll do one more exercise in all fours. Yeah, and as always, you can give the wrist a twirl, have a bit of a rest, and then join back in. So this is a plank variation. I'm quite sure you've come across 
planks of some sort. They are quite popular and if you haven't done them yourself yet, you've probably seen them somewhere either in your gym or on the telly or on the internet. Yeah, so we will do the box plank. It's quite a nice one to start with. Yeah, and we will hold the plank position for five lateral breaths. So really focusing on breathing in and out, keeping the navel drawn up. So what I mean by this is we come back into our fours. Ideally, we tuck the toes under. Now, if your toes really don't like that, you can keep the feet relaxed down and still do this. Yeah. But if you can, tuck the toes under, breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, draw the navel up and lift the knees away from the floor. Now, the lower the knees, the more difficult this is. So if you're very high up, it's a bit easier. If we're quite low, that's a bit more difficult. Yeah, so that's the position we will hold for about five breaths. Good. So, find your neutral, push up in between the shoulder blades. Make sure not to round the back. Yeah, have that neutral spine and pelvis. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, navel up, and lift. Breathe in and out. You there. And then relax down. That might have been six breaths. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Good. Yeah, so that's your box plank. And if you're happy to, we'll do that again. Yeah. And try to not to focus too much on how long I'm staying in this position. Yeah, I want you to really focus on your breathing on your neutral spine and pelvis, on pushing up in between the shoulder blades, on keeping the neck um, supported. So very often when we're here, um, it's very tempting to sort of let the head drop down, make sure that's not happening. Yeah, so focus much more um, on what's happening um, in your own body, focusing on your own breath. So about five, <laughs> about five breaths in that position. So here we go again, find your neutral, Push up in between the shoulder blades. Tuck the toes under. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Flare it up. Stay there. Count five breaths. hands back, send the heart forwards, breathe in and out. Good. We'll come into prone for our dart prep. So take your time to come onto your front. For this you will need to have a cushion under your forehead. For our dart prep we have the feet quite wide. That helps us relax the legs to the floor so they don't lift up with us. Um, and just to actually explain why I just pop myself up to talk you through the exercises when I lie on my front, the mic goes crazy and I don't want to do that to you. Yeah. So we've done this one before. I'll talk you through it, then I'll demonstrate a few and then we'll keep going with a few. Always stop and rest if it does get too much. Yeah, so see how the spine is feeling today. We um, strengthen the muscles along the back doing these sort of exercises. Yeah, so they're quite good to do and they can be very challenging if we're not used to doing anything like that normally. Yeah. So let me show you what the dart prep was again. Yeah, looking familiar? Okay, so you want to have, as I said, the feet as wide as the mat, or a bit wider if you're not actually on a mat. 
You want the arms by your sides, palms facing up, shoulders relaxed down. And then as you float up, you rotate the arms so the hands face in towards the legs, reaching the fingertips towards the toes. Keep the neck long so you're not actually looking forwards. You try to keep the neck in neutral. Yeah, and then breathe out to low down. Breathe in to float up. Breathe out, relax the shoulders down. Draw the navel in a tiny bit as you float up, just a slight support. Last few of these. Last one, and then relax down. Use your arms and your center to push yourself away from the floor. So have the feet hip width and then push away. And then either back into cat stretch, yeah, what we started with, or if you prefer, come back into child's pose. Either one is fine, they're all both really nice to do. So whether you're doing cat stretch or child's pose, you just want to breathe deeply, enjoy that choice. So either that movement of the spine or that stillness in child's pose, yeah. Good. And then let's come back into sitting. So again, sit a bit higher up if that feels better, having a tall spine. And then we're just gonna go into our rotations. So half your fingertips on your shoulders, breathe in, breathe out to rotate. Look over your shoulder, keep the spine tall. So your upper back can rotate to round about 45 degrees and then your neck can rotate to about 90 degrees. So it goes a little bit further. Draw the navel in a bit. One more. Fabulous. Relax the arms, come into your side reach. So breathe and reach up. Breathe out, reach over, keep the um, hips down. Relax the shoulder away from the ear and then come back. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, reach over. Breathe in here. Breathe out, with hand. Good. Bring the hands together around the back, tilt the pelvis if that's comfortable and look at your belly button. And then breathe and look up at the ceiling, send the heart forward. Extend the arms as far as they will reach. Drop the arms heavy. Maybe if your shoulder rolls, take a nice deep breath in. And out. And we're done.